Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course, pleased to be joined by the one, the only Jax Wilson. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? Well, so what have you been up to? I know basket, I know basketball has kind of started in the in mid season and I know you're also trying to figure out what football is going to, is going to do, but what, what about, uh, well, so just trying to talk about what the last few months have been like since football ended. Yeah. So, you know, we ended had our banquet and then, you know, we got into basketball. So, um, you know, we've been kind of having a little bit of a slow start there, but we're about to get into league play. And I think that, you know, we're working out all of our kinks with that. And um, I think just this team is some guys that haven't, um, you know, played together a lot before kind of coming together. And I think once, once we start, you know, fusing um, during these uh, next few games into league play, I think, I think it's going to help us a lot and we're going to definitely step up yeah so what has it been like going from football to basketball um it's it's always different because they're told they're two totally different sports you know um you know like being conditioned for it and everything is just it's completely different you know one's like aggressive in a way but they're they're i mean they're both going to be aggressive but in totally different ways and it's Sometimes it can be uh, difficult, you know, to to translate and move from one to the other. But it's been it's been fun. It's always fun to play basketball. So kind of talk about just, um, you know, with the with with, um, you know, how, talk about how we have because we haven't had you on since the football season ended. So overall, just yeah. um, it was a solid year for you. I know that, um, you know, I know you, the team had some ups and downs and just kind of talk about how this year kind of went. Yeah, I think um, overall it was a good senior year. Um, we, it, it we were trying to pick up, you know, from you know where we were last year, and uh, you know we didn't quite live up to those expectations. But I think as a team we were we were starting to you know come together well at the end. You know, unfortunately that loss in the first round to Holt was was tough, but they were a good team. I think that. You know, I think we left, you know, the program this year, all these guys with, you know, just kind of, I mean, we left them with, you know, something to look up to these past three years, you know, making the playoffs three years um, consecutively. I think that's, you know, something to be pretty proud of for for our team. And uh, that was nice. Yeah. So kind of talk about just, um, you know, kind of leaving the program and what the program means to you. Yeah, no, I've had, you know, a pretty good time there. Um, I've loved playing with all the guys I've been playing with them since since seventh grade. So, you know, I like that about it. Um, and, you know, it, it's been overall pretty good for me, I guess you could say. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing what happens next, you know, with basketball. And then, you know, I got track coming up in the spring as well. So it's still got some more stuff to go before, before I'm on the Heartland. Um, yeah, so, well, let's talk about what your future holds, uh, especially for next year. I know that you do want to play at the next level. So where do you think, yeah. uh, just kind of give an update on that. Um, right now, you know, I'm waiting for some uh, official visit dates and just weighing my options as far as where I think my, my best fit's going to be either, you know, maybe the, the PWO route or, you know, a scholarship at the division two level, um, just kind of weighing out, you know, where I think could be the most beneficial for me, you know, in the future and um, the different, you know, variables that go into it and, um, you know, what place can help me the most. Yeah. So, so going back to your current season of basketball, um, what's that, what's this team kind of like? I know, uh, you know, losing Justin for the season was tough, but overall just how you, I know it's uh, not been the start that you guys wanted, but overall you uh, came off with a, a win against Pinckney last week and just, uh, and then you got a, you got some games. Uh, you got South line coming into town on Wednesday. And yeah. Then, uh, conference play begins as you guys uh, start off against a pretty tough Northville team. Yeah. You know, when we heard about Justin, I mean, it was tough. I mean, cause I mean, he's like, I mean, he's a great, great player. So, you know, we kind of just had to like, you know, think like, we're going to have to kind of fill in that position, not with one person, but with the whole team coming together, you know, to make up for that loss. And, um, yeah, we struggled a little bit, but I think that Pinkney game, 
you know, we came out and, you know, we knew, we knew what we needed to do after the loss to DeWitt the day before. Um, you know, it was kind of getting thrown around a little bit in that game. You know, I think last year, um, some of the juniors, you know, like myself, we didn't get a lot of, you know, game time action because of it being a super senior heavy team. Um, so I think that we're starting to come together like that and start playing with each other and start bonding. And I think, you know, the juniors this year are, um, they've played together with each other before. So they kind of have that connection. So when they go out there, you know, they're working together well. So we're trying to get, you know, everybody fused together as one. And, um, you know, but I think that Pinkney game really, uh, you know, really showed us what we can do. You know, we, we kept it rolling the whole time. And I think that, you know, we just have to, you know, get the confidence, you know, that we can play with, you know, whoever we want to play with. Um, we just can't get down on ourselves. We got to, you know, you make mistakes sometimes. You just got to keep going. Because um, I know that we can play with anybody, you know, in, in our league. So when we get in there, you know, you never know. Every year the league is it's different. I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff happens. I mean, last year, um, I mean, it was crazy with Kent and us losing so much by the first game and then beating him the next, like just anything could happen. And you guys won the league last year. So, yeah. Um, so, and then finally, just um, kind of talk about like this week, cause uh, you know, you got um, just talk about some of the guys that really kind of stopped because, you know, you got Michael Mellon and Michael Kilberg and all that. Just kind of talk about some of the guys that have really impressed on this Heartland team. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, Penla, he, he's a great shooter, a great driver, uh, really smart with the ball. Kilberg is, you know, great down low finisher. Um, and then you got Dylan Newer, you know, good at driving in. You got, you know, Noah Campbell as well and uh, Kyle Gregg and uh, Vance King. Yeah, all these guys, all these juniors. I think everybody's, you know, have their all, their individual things that they're great at. And when we put them all together, I mean, it just, it really goes well. You know, Cyrus, great shooter. Everybody just – Everybody's got that piece that they have. And once it all goes together, the team really starts starts working well. Um, and I think that, you know, people got to watch out for some of those guys because once they get going, it's hard to stop some of those shooters and, and you know, people that are really smart with the ball. All right. Well, Jax, thanks so much for coming on and talking with us. And uh, best of luck the rest of the basketball season. Congrats on a good football year. Thank you.